Good morning, everyone. Happy Memorial Day. Um, today is a special day because today is a day when we celebrate and remember the lives that were lost to protect the freedom we have and the great country we live in. A country that gives us the opportunity to live free. A country that on its dollar bill says in God we trust, celebrates God, faith, and cherishes humanity. A country of kindness, a country that cheers and gives and helps. We've seen it again with the vaccine, how America has been so philanthropic in spearheading the vaccine and funding it and in sharing it with so many. And last week's Torah portion, at the end of the portion, which we read on Shabbat, we read about one of the top six things in Judaism. What do I mean by the top six things? Every day, the Torah tells us to remember six things. And one of the six things the Torah tells us to remember is Miriam. What happened with Miriam? Miriam, at the end of the portion, gets punished. Why does she get punished? She gets punished with leprosy, and she has to be secluded for seven days from the community. And the reason is because she spoke something about her brother Moses, the greatest leader, which was negative. Although her intentions were not necessarily negative, she got punished. And then the entire nation of Israel waited seven days for her to recuperate before they continued to travel. Two of the important things we should have learned from that. One is always to be careful never to speak negative, always to see the positive and the good. And also there's something else interesting. You know why the Jews wait? waited for Miriam to be healed in order to travel again? It was as a sense of gratitude to Miriam for watching the little basket of Moses 80 years earlier, more, what am I, 80, much more than 80 years earlier when Moses was a little baby in the basket, Miriam stood from far and she watched him. And since Miriam helped save Moses, we have gratitude to her. Although the gratitude is indirect because Moses became our leader, we still had gratitude so much time later. So we learn about speaking gossip and we learn about having gratitude. And in the beginning of this week's Torah portion, God sends his spies to check out Israel. God tells the 12 spies, go to Israel, check it out, and find the best way to conquer it. But the spies didn't learn from the story of Miriam. And they come back and they speak gossip about the land of Israel. They see the big fruit and they see the inhabitants. And instead of seeing the positive of why God gave all these things, they spoke negative. And God punishes the Jewish people and we don't go into Israel. And it makes me think a lot about our country and the place we live in. Because there is no doubt, there is no country that's perfect and there is no people that's perfect. But yet we live in a land, as the Rebbe would always call it, from the Hasidic Um Sa'ilam, from the kindest nations in the world. A land that has given so much to so many. Freedom, opportunity to succeed. A land that has led in so many immigrants and saved so many people and stood up for human rights throughout the world. A beacon of democracy, a beacon of light. And it's become a sort of trend where people speak negative about the country we live in. People that live here and benefit. They're not proud to fly the flag, to say the national, sing the national anthem, to say the Pledge of Allegiance. And we have to learn from the spies the mistakes they made. And we have to cherish and celebrate and be proud of the land that we live in. And that's how we have to instill our children with a love for the land, with a love for the gifts that it gives us. Is there things that are imperfect? Of course. But we have to see the positive and we have to see the good. You know, there's a story about one of the great Hasidic masters who had an audience with a guy who came from a little shtetl Let's say it was Berdichev in Russia. And the Rebbe asked him, tell me about what's going on in Berdichev. And he says, oh, the people, they fight and they're bitter and they complain about each other and they argue and they bicker and there's so much strife and on and on and on. Another chassid who happened to be coming came also from the town of Berdichev. And after this guy finished his audience, he went into audience. The Rebbe says to him, do you tell me how are things in Berdichev? He says, oh, 
The people are awesome. They're kind. They're cheering. They celebrate the holidays. They love each other. They look after each other. They're kind to their neighboring cities. This is a, the most beautiful city to live in. The Rebbe pulls out a gold coin and gives it to him as a gift. Afterwards, the chassid goes out and he's sitting with the other chassid and they're talking about what happened in their audience. And the first chassid hears that the Rebbe gave the second chassid a gold coin. So he goes back to them and says, it's not fear. You asked for a report from the city. Just because I said the truth and gave you a real report that was a little damning, that's why I don't deserve a coin. And him who fluffed things over and didn't tell you the truth, he gets a gold coin. Why did you not give me a gold coin? And the Rebbe looks at him and says, you think I don't know what's going on in Berdichev? Of course I know what's going on, Berdichev. But I wanted to know in which Berdichev do you live in? And that's what I found out from the way you spoke. We're blessed to live in the most amazing country, a beacon of light, of democracy, of faith, of godliness, of recognizing the power within each human being. Today on Memorial Day, when we commemorate the lives that didn't make it back because they defended this country and the democracies it stands for, we have to remember that what we instill in our children and how we make them feel about the country they live in and the values that we share and the things that we celebrate is the town that we'll end up living in. Do we want to live in a Berdichev, like the guy who got the gold coin, or the other guy? May God bless this country, protect all the soldiers who fight for this country. May God protect the families who have lost loved ones. And may it protect all of us and bring peace and love among all people. God bless you. Have a great day.